Hi, this is Erica with Crafts Direct, and today I want to show you this fun palette I made. Um, I'm typically a very farmhouse type style girl, and today I took it a little bit more modern. So I want to walk you through the steps on how to make this fun palette. We are going to start this project out by painting your entire plaque black. We are using a black chalk paint and foam brush to apply the paint. Now we're going to cut out all of our little leaf shapes. So we're going to take the template that you printed out and cut out, put it on a piece of felt and cut a strip as wide as the leaf. You'll take that same piece of felt, put your leaf template on it, the felt is doubled up, and then we will cut out the leaf shape. And this is going to make us two leaves since it's doubled over. And then that same strip is going to make us another two leaves. So put that leaf template on there and cut it out. We're going to keep doing this until we have at least 14 leaves. Now we are going to turn our leaves into a dimensional leaf. So we are going to take a leaf, fold it in half, take your needle that is threaded, push it through the doubled up leaf, and then pull it back to the front of the leaf. And all we are going to do on the back is to make three knots. Once you've got your three knots completed, you'll cut the excess string and move on to another leaf. So here we go again, folding the leaf in half, pushing the needle from the front to the back, and then from the back to the front, and then tying three knots and trimming that string. Do this until you have all 14 of your leaves done. Now that all of our leaves are assembled, we are going to take five of our leaves and make a garland. So we're going to place two of the leaves together and use the same technique that we used before. Taking our threaded needle, going from the back to the front, and then from the front through to the back again and doing a triple knot. Once the triple knot is completed, you will trim the ends and then move on to adding another leaf. As we add leaves, we're going to continue to stagger them one side and then the other, and then we're going to keep attaching them to each other the same way. So putting the needle through two of the leaves to the opposite side and then through both the leaves again to the back side. And then making sure to triple knot each time and trimming up those excess strings. You will continue this process until you have two strands that each have five leaves on them. Now you're going to assemble that center flower, so you're going to take four of the leaves and stagger them facing opposite directions, and then you'll just put the needle through the center of each of them. Once you get through all four of them, you'll turn that needle around and make sure you get through each leaf on the way back as well. Once you get to the bottom, you'll take your two strings and tie a triple knot, and then trim the ends. Now we're going to take our vinyl and get it ready for the board by cutting each line into different strips. 
Here we've got everything laid out and we are starting to adhere the flower garland to the board. So we're just going to use tacks. We're going to take a tack and put it in the middle of our flower we created and then we'll continue to take tacks and put it in the leaf garland until everything is secured to the board. Now it's time to apply the vinyl to the board. So we're going to rub on the back of the vinyl, peel that backing off, flip the vinyl over, rub it down on the board, and then slowly peel the transfer tape up. So we're going to do that with the entire vinyl phrase. And then once we've got everything on the board, I always just run my finger over it to really secure it to the board. And the last step in this project is to attach our photo to the board with four tacks. So we're going to put one in each corner. For a complete list of all the supplies used on this project, you can go to craftsrack.com and go to our projects page.